The mission of NeighborLink is practical neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor expressions of God's love. We believe that God loves people uh, very, very much. And He has positioned people that He has called to Himself, that we call the church, uh, into action to go out and express His love to people in need. And so we realize that we're just instruments in a larger plan that He has to connect His church with people in the margins, people in need. And so what we do is we organize teams of people to go out and take projects that somebody has posted on our website and go out and meet the needs of the person uh, in their house, in their neighborhood, uh, where they live, and meet their need as best we can. And when we do that, we're connecting uh, his love through us, his instrument, with the people in need. Um, at the end of the day, we know God's heart for those people is that they would know him personally as their Lord and Savior. And while we may not be the person that gives them that message, he very much wants us to show the love that he has that's in that message to the people. And so we view very much what we do as acts of kindness that show God's love in a practical way. And so when somebody puts their lawn uh, someone puts a room that they want painted, uh, someone puts on a garage that needs cleaning, uh, someone puts on a roof that needs to be re-roofed, we know that we have an opportunity to do that in such a way that people feel the very love of our God. And so we get excited about that and we set up projects to go serve. Uh, the other thing that we learned along the way is that God has called us to Himself, uh, but He's not done with us. And this is this big word, sanctification. And sanctification is a process by which God takes somebody he's called to himself and he starts to work out in their lives uh, improvements that make them closer and more like his son, Jesus. Neighborly takes a person like me who wants to go serve my neighbor and it begins to transform me into the likeness of Jesus who I now follow. And so if I'm, uh, at the end of a long week and I volunteered to take on a project and I go serve them, there are things in me that are saying, uh, you know, you should be out having fun or entertaining myself or something else and this person doesn't need help uh, and some other thing that's going on in me that's conflicting me about actually giving all of myself to this recipient to do God's work for him or her. And again, I keep praying through those projects saying, God changed me so that I'm not so focused on my own comfort, my own self. I'm actually able to bring all of myself, my focus, my listening, my gifts and abilities, uh, my hands to serve this recipient today because that's what you would want me to be out doing.